Welcome to Three Cone Commentaries. This is going to be a very short video because I really don't have that much to say on this subject. But it seems that Corey Graves has now been medically cleared to wrestle in WWE. So I looked to see how old he was. He's 37. He's older than me. <laughs> he's, he's only about two months older than me. But uh, 37, history of concussions. He was retired for seven years. More people know him as a commentator than as a wrestler. What really is his upside? Just because he can do something doesn't mean he should do it. I am not in favor of Corey Graves wrestling full time. The occasional match here and there, you know, for if he was to do a commentary gig where he's like kind of like Jerry Lawler was, where <clears throat> he would get into an angle with somebody. You know, they'll pick on the commentary team or something like that. He would come out of retirement to have this one match. Kind of like Bobby the Brain Heenan. Bobby the Brain Heenan wasn't supposed to be wrestling. He had a bad neck. But occasionally he would do like the weasel suit match. Or he'll do something silly. He wouldn't go in there and do like a full length 20 to 30 minute trying to do a Mac classic. I don't see him trying to do that. Now, if Corey Graves wants to do that kind of, have that kind of career. I think that's perfectly fine. If Corey Graves thinks that he's going to get in this Royal Rumble, which I now believe he will be in it, and he's going to last for an hour and then wrestle again on Raw or SmackDown and then just be back in the mold and he's one of the boys, I'm just kind of like, I don't know about that one, dog. Now, again, 37, you're still fairly young, but in wrestling, you're that's basically dog years. You know, the, the amount of ring rust on this guy it's going to make, it's going to be, it's going to be wild. But here's the crazy thing. And it's probably why I'm not so, this doesn't really move me as much. I've never watched a Corey Graves wrestling match. Never. I started watching NXT after he had already retired. And my uh, going back as far as going to the original days of NXT have only been uh, when DVDs put matches on it. So, if there was like uh, Jinder Mahal and Seth Rollins, like I've seen that match because it was on the Shield DVD. Like I saw Big E and Seth Rollins or something like that because it was on the Shield DVD. As far as going back and watching the early days of NXT, I've never done it. I never really thought to do it. You know, maybe maybe I should. Maybe I should go and see if he's an actually accomplished and good wrestler. But even if I thought he was a good wrestler seven years ago. That ain't got shit to do with anything he would be doing today. So, do should Corey Graves be wrestling? Probably not. It's probably not a good idea. Um, but I'm glad that he's got full range of motion. I'm glad that people like him and Nikki uh, Bella and all these people are now getting their, their life back. That's good. But hopefully, they, they're smart and they don't can try to do this stuff full time. Do it every once in a while with a safe opponent. And then let that be your legacy. You know, have that kind of career where you have the occasional match with a safe opponent. Build up your match and make yourself a special attraction. Don't go out there and try to wrestle every week. Any thoughts of Corey Graves as the main event of WrestleMania and world champion? Likely not going to happen. You know he can cut promos because he's a commentator. But a lot of people don't like his commentating. I want to hear, you know, wrestling promos in wrestling promo style from Corey Graves before I start saying, oh, he can't do something. He can, he can't. But I just don't see at 37, even though he's the same age as Roman Reigns and uh, Drew McIntyre. I think he might be older than both of them. It's just 37 with that neck, that head injury, the history of concussions. He's just like Tommaso Ciampa. You know, there's just really the downside of him continuing to do this is far more than the upside. It's like, yes, you want to have your career back, but really, bro, at what cost? You know, you got a good gig right now. WWE, you know, puts you in a position where you can go out and train and get yourself back together. Do you really want to jeopardize that? And, and then for what? It's not like anybody even remembers that you had a wrestling career. So... Sure, have the Royal Rumble match. It would be nice for him to be in it. Put him in there at number three, number four, or something like that. Let him wrestle. Get some get get some time in, like they did with Christian 
and some guys like that. Let them get some time in there to knock some of that ring rust off, to do, do them a favor. Let them work a six-man tag or a tag team match or something. But that's it. You know, just because you can do something doesn't mean you should. If you think uh, Corey Graves is a good wrestler, leave a suggestion for a match for me to watch in the comment section below. Uh, otherwise, thank you guys for listening. Like, share, subscribe. I'll talk to you guys later, man. Peace out.